Hello, dear friends. A rebound is anger, the casting, indignation, or outrage against an injustice. Opinion piece. Outrage. Game over. Holy indignation. So far, we have come. Nonsense. Just enough. Do you want to play? So let's play. The Julian New Year begins on April 1st. We are entering the new year of creativity. Let's start. When life hits you hard, you take a rebound against the cause and of evil and tell him the game is over. It's just nonsense. That's all we have done. And don't continue down that path. Do you want to play? Then let's play. It is the state similar to that of Jesus when he expelled the merchants from the temple, or that of the angry deities of Tibetan Buddhism. As a divine being with a soul, you have more power than all the annoying and headless egregores. It is in this extreme situation when you begin to recognize your power and stop resting on your laurels. If you don't react, you don't survive. It's like when a fly bothers you and you end up sweating it. In situations where life presents us with challenges or injustices, it is natural to feel emotions such as anger, disgust, or indignation. It is important to take advantage of that energy to empower ourselves. Remember that your power is a, di a divine being with a soul lies in your ability to transform adverse situations into opportunities for growth and learning. I am stressed since my savings were sized, and I seem sad. For once in my life, I managed to save something. They come and take it from me, and it was a loan that I am paying now. However, my gratitude is infinite to all the human beings who have helped me. But I no longer need any more donations because I am returning to my normal income after overcoming this temporary insolvency. Yesterday's Starbust star video was demonetized by artificial intelligence, and I requested a manual review. When they give me the go-ahead, um, it will have already received the majority of views. Holiness. Anger could be out of control, furry. How can I be sure that my anger is holy indignation? We can know it certainty that our anger is holy when it is directed towards what is just and avoids harming the innocent, making the righteous pay for sinners. A good example of this could be the anger we feel towards the injustices that abound in the world. The key is whether our outreach benefits other innocent human beings and doesn't harm them. Another alternative would be the philosophy of Saint Job. But who has a vocation to be a martyr today? Job focuses on the beauty of patience and faithfulness to God despite adversity. Job, a biblical character, is renowned for his unwavering faith and patience even in the midst of suffering and trials. Through his, his story, he, lights, he highlights that the idea that suffering can be a test from God to purify the individual and strengthen his faith. Job is an example of how to maintain trust in God despite difficulties, demonstrating that patience, humility, and faithfulness are fundamental virtues in spiritual life. His story invites us to reflect on the meaning of suffering, the importance of keeping faith in difficult times, and the reward that can come after adversity. The opposite for, of holiness would be hate crime, that is, a criminal offense that arises from prejudice against one or more people who belong to a certain social group. This type of crime involves actions that directly or indirectly encourage, promote or incite hatred or hostility, discrimination or violence against the group, a part of it, or against a specific person for reasons of race, religion, gender or sexual orientation, among others. Mistakes. We all make mistakes in life or make wrong decisions that are not easy to digest unless we have an appropriate philosophy and take advantage of our clumsiness to learn how to improve the situation. Accepting failure in life is a sustainable strategy over time, as long as you take advantage of it to learn and improve the situation. It is 
a philosophy that allows you to take advantage of wrong decisions as part of the process for learning and personal growth. The science of achieving results focuses on the process rather than the end results, rewards effort invested, accepts failure as part of learning, encourages curiosity and critical thinking, and is based on true and deep knowledge of the world. This science focuses on the process rather than the end result. The effort invested is rewarded and failure is accepted as part of the learning process. This is related to the virtue of curiosity, which is the driver of academic and work performance, and is characterized by an authentic desire for knowledge and motivation to seek new information. Curiosity also encourages thinking or critical decision-making and relationship skills, and is a key to life situation. Failure. Accepting failure is a bad strategy because it is not sustainable over time, unless we accompany it with continuous learning and improvement. A company cannot constantly fail without being clear that sooner or later, its shareholders and creditors are going to knock on the door. Failure is not the end goal, but rather an opportunity to learn and improve. Accepting failure means having a growth mindset in which intelligence and talent are seen as qualities that can be developed and improved with effort and dedication. When we accept failure as part of the learning process, we can analyze what went wrong, identify root causes, and develop action plans to avoid making the same mistakes in the future. This allows us to learn how mistakes and from to learn from your mistakes and continually improve. However, it is important to keep in mind that accepting failure doesn't mean settling for failure, but rather using it as an opportunity to learn and improve. If we just accept failure without trying to learn from it, then we are not taking full advantage of the opportunities for growth and improvement it offers. Rumors. April 1st is New Year's Day in the Julian calendar, and the public launch of the new QFS is rumored. On Monday, April 8th, during the solar eclipse, there are rumors that they are planning a biological attack. The Oklahoma National Guard will have soldiers present during the eclipse. It will house 22 members of an elite chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear unit. Residents are urged to stock up on food for a week or two before the event. Communication facilities could be overloaded, possibly making calls to mobile phones difficult. Gold. Gold begins to decouple from the dollar. Peter Schiff says central banks are preparing for a new gold standard. The price of gold is approaching, approaching its maximum. When, a, when global economic conditions become unpredictable, investors tend to flock to gold. The yellow metal is trading above $2,100, an ounce. Gold has been rising since the beginning of this year, even though the dollar has been supported by high interest rates. Bitcoin began its rise last year by decoupling from the dollar, and now we are witnessing gold beginning to do the same. Japan's government pension fund explores investing in assets such as Bitcoin. Tokenized assets incorporate gold or some other commodity along with a digitized asset. These three drivers of the new economy, when combined with underlying assets to support each other, become an unstoppable force for growth in the future. In June 1963, President JFK issued an executive order to print silver certificates and eliminate the Federal Reserve. Five months later, he was murdered. We are moving towards an open banking system. This means that in the coming years, new innovation will emerge that will provide us with new opportunities for growth. Just because one country comes, comes up with a single innovative digital banking protocol this year, doesn't mean another country can't come with a better one next year to replace it. We are entering the era of creativity. Creativity can know more than the mind can ever understand. It makes us to realms of consciousness where we are guided to the same wisdom that created us. Herein lies the beauty of we are listening, of what we are listening. As new innovations come to market to improve the well-being of our creators' people, freedom will be the motivator of the new quantum economy beyond the control of the masses. 
actions. Stocks continue to break records and jump to new highs after rumors boost markets. Stocks rose around the world as investors continue to cheer the Federal Reserve's signal that it will delay, but not slow, rate cuts. The Fed rates are the same, but it expects to make three rate cuts this year. IBM shares are approaching to all-time high. Justice Department sues Apple, alleging it monopolized the smartphone market. Apple loses $150 billion in market value as it is sued. Banks are in limbo without a lifeline. This is where cracks can appear. Four banks could be in danger if the commercial real estate sector continues to fail. Human resources. Kevin O'Leary said Bernie Sanders' idea of a 32-hour week, work week is dead on arrival, in quotes. A Texas bus company stops transporting illegal immigrants to New York after a lawsuit. An Arizona rancher accused of shooting a Mexican who crossed the border. Generation X is laid back, but 79% say they are forgotten in the workplace. Millennials blame their boomer parents for not teaching them to be responsible adults. The first human being with the Neuralink chip shows his telepathy. The patient, a quadriplegic, showed his abilities to control the computer cursor with his mind and also play a game of chess. Restoration. Charlie Watt and Nikki Klang discuss the town's operation and restoration plan. In this movement, if, if this movement were a cult, it would be the only cult in the world where the leader insists that you think for yourself and promotes non-violence. Your, their only weapons are l logic and research. You pay no dues and you receive no pay or glory. Freedom is the reward. Peace is the price. Donald Trump is about to receive three and a half billion dollars windfall from his stake in Truth Social. Trump's lawyers continue to fight the 454 million dollars fraud appeal bail requirement. Trump says that the rallying against him is horrible for New York, in quotes, and that businesses are fleeing in a new post on Truth Social. Americas. Bolivia buys aircraft and weapons to combat drug trafficking. Argentina's economy fell 1.6% in 2023 compared to the previous year. Metallurgical Union of Argentina carries out a 72-hour national strike. An attack against human rights activists in Argentina. The Children for Identity and Justice Against Forgetfulness and Silence Network, a human rights organization made up of daughters and sons of people disappeared during the last dictatorship, denounced this Thursday an attack for political purposes against one of its members. Messages. Message from Kesharat. Without that, Without love, everything is on the way to final destruction. Love, the essence of you, the source of the source of nature, the essence and foundation of everything that is built in a society, and must let and serve the supreme good of all. Every human being knows that something is changing at one level or another. Perhaps there are some who are not aware of this now, but from their human mind. But at the soul level, they know what is happening and that information is seeping into your consciousness. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.